Good day, crypto heads. I have a habit of showing my my hedge mode swing trade while while it's totally in the red. So I figured today I'd make a video before I maybe close down my long. I'm not sure what I'm going to do there, but I just want to show you down here on the bottom. I want to show you some green. I usually make my moves off camera. So just before I started this video, I took a 50%. I, I closed 50% uh, of my long for about $150 profit. And now you look down here. I'll get. I'm gonna go down to the hourly chart and show you what's going on. I just want to talk about my trade here. I haven't haven't shown it for a while. And like I said, I have a habit of showing it while all four of these are red. <laughs> so I want to show it to you why three of them are green. And you you look at this short down here and you say, "Wow, that's terrible. He's way underwater." Well, I'm I'm doing that intentionally. And of, of course, I would like I would like it to be you know a better entry price, of course, but. But uh, I just want to say, I'll, I'll go down to the hourly chart and show you what I'm doing here. And I'm not telling anyone to do this. I just, I'm just doing this, showing this to you for transparency. I believe if you're making videos, you should probably be showing all your trades, to be honest with you. Because, you know, there's people out there that might be listening to just people making money off YouTube that really don't have any idea what they're doing. And, you know, I'm not going to here to talk about anyone, but. You know, last cycle I got washed out because I was listening to all the big YouTubers talk about how Bitcoin is going to go to seven hundred thousand dollars, a million dollars. It's because I made right, and it's and it petered out at sixty nine thousand. The short the shorts on water, but see this realized profit one hundred eleven dollars seventy two cents. You say to yourself, if you haven't watched my videos in the past, you say to yourself, how in the world does he have a realized profit of over a hundred dollars? When his trade is two thousand dollars underwater, well, it's a short. And up here, you'll see the funding rate up here where my cursor is at. Right, currently, it's at a hundredth of a percent, and you see it's counting down. It's four hours twenty-two minutes left. So every every eight hours, I get a hundredth percent of over here on the left, my eighteen thousand two hundred thirty-three dollars. I get a hundredth percent of that. So I'm making about seven or eight dollars a day. I think yesterday I made about twelve dollars because this funding rate will go up and down. It's usually stable at a hundredth of a percent, but it will change. And so that's what this money is. And they pay me that. It goes over here into my available balance over here on the right. And I've stuck that $111 back into this swing trade. And earlier today, I took 150, almost $150 profit on my long. And uh, so let's go down to the hourly chart and I'll do some analysis here. Well, look at this is really dropping. So uh, I probably should have sold my whole position. But, you know, right now I could sell the rest of my long for $100. But, you know, it, it could be bouncing here. So I need to extend this. You know, I, I've got this chart here that's working good. So I'm not just doing this blindly. And let's extend this guy up here. He needs to be about in that. Out in that ballpark there, and I'm watching for a bounce. This 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 likely will bounce while I'm making this video here at, at seventy thousand. Watch for a bounce here at seventy thousand, watch or at least support area here at seventy thousand. So, why did I sell? Let's go back to the daily chart. Or let's actually let's go back to the big screen. Let's go to the big screen. Now that's showing my trade, and let's go to the daily. And I want to show you why I. I Thought I should have probably. I thought I should have sold probably my whole long there, and it would have been over a three hundred dollar profit. Obviously, I'm not. I don't have a ton of money, as you can see. My my account is at about seventy six hundred dollars right now, and uh, it's growing. But um, you know, last cycle I got washed out. I think I was up to thirty five thousand, and if I could have kept it going, I would probably be in seven figures by now. But that's my point. That's that's why you got to be careful. Of, listening to people on youtube <laughs> uh you know later on this cycle you know later on this year and then the next year you might be you might be they might get a hold of you and you think it's going to a million dollars right and you know it goes to one hundred thirty nine thousand, and then it falls back down to 60 or 70 just watch out for that you know it's just speculation but watch out for that i want to keep you tied to reality but okay why did i why did i sell i sold half my position at a little under seventy one thousand, and I just want to show you back here. 
right now what I'm looking at is the wick. This is the daily chart and this is the wick. And what I want to show you is, is uh, why this is dying out. So these three horizontal white lines on top represent the last three highs. The one on top is the all time high. So for now, this is just another lower high. See, this is lower than this one. And if you go back to the left here, let's get rid of this one. If you go back to the left, all right, we've got we've got this wick here. See this intense selling pressure here? Whoops, get my brush back on. There's selling pressure here at that level. There's selling pressure here. See these big wicks? And you go back through here and look at this this entire section here. Under underneath that bottom white line, see these giant wicks. Okay, now this is why I made the decision to close down my my long. So obviously we could be looking at this is the real breakout pump, right? And this this will eventually come up here, and this is going to come up here to about eighty four thousand dollars, which is the next Fibonacci uh, resistance zone. So I'm looking for the pump up to about eighty four thousand that ballpark. But I don't know, you know, is this it right now? I, I don't think it's it right now. And, and if I look back to the left, see where all this stalled out. So, you know, even even back here at all time high, only a couple candles closed above seventy two thousand. But if we just if we don't look at the all time high pump, right? And if Bitcoin doesn't break at all time high now on this pump we're in right now, then then it's probably coming back down, and let's let's look let's look and see how many candles when i when i sold half my long position today it, it's a little under seventy one thousand. let's go back to the left and let's see how many you know let's let's draw a line there where this where this pump was at and this i just want to show you you know you need it you need a firm command of of uh whoops <laughs> you need a firm command of of what's going on here to be able to operate a swing trade like i'm doing in hedge mode um, and I'll show you the worst case scenario with that, that with that short position I'm in. That's way underwater. I'm gonna go back and I'll show you that why that's not a big deal to me. Now that let's let's turn this one. Let's turn this a different color for now. Let's turn it pink. Okay, so this pink horizontal line I just put on where the wick stopped, where I sold half my long today. Now go back to the left and how many daily candles have closed above that area? Here's one, right? This this green one here. And then let's go back to the left. How many candles? Oh, there's two. Two daily candles have closed. I thought it was two. There's actually a third one here. Barely. Barely right here. A third one closed above that pink line. And that's since March 14th. And we're, we're in the first week of June now. So April, May, June. That's three months. In the last three months, three daily candles have closed above that pink line. And not only that, We've got these big wicks, right? These these uh, wicks on top. They're, they're not real huge, but uh, see these these wicks here. It's selling or selling pressure right under seventy two thousand dollars. There's a lot of selling pressure, and that's still the case, right? It's still the case represented by these two here that I have circled, particularly this one here on uh, May twenty seventh. And and look at look what's happening now. There's a big wick being put in right now. See that? See that? So let's get rid of the scribble. So I figured that was a really good spot to sell. And I I only sold half because you know I'm not I'm not totally sure. Maybe this does come up to maybe it still turns up. This could still come up to seventy two thousand. And uh, if this comes down much lower, then then I think that that that's probably the it for this pump right now uh, before it retraces back down. To you know, I think it's coming down to seventy thousand right here pretty quick. You know, maybe it pumps back up. I, I think seventy two thousand. Where I got that pink line at seventy one thousand one hundred twelve, up to seventy two thousand. There is selling pressure, and maybe maybe you know, don't get confused by words. Maybe it's not necessarily selling pressure. You know, people that own Bitcoin are selling. It, it might just be all traders traders like me like i took profit on my on my 7x long i took profit and also 
72,000 would be a good place to put in a big stinky short, right? So, uh, but I am looking, I, I trust me, I'm keeping a sharp eye on this. I am looking to see if it breaks this first white line here, it's, it's 72,250, right? Then, then watch out. Then that, that means that this is probably, I mean, doesn't mean it's going up, but that would be, that would represent a newer high. Now I could just wick up there and fall right back down. And that's not necessarily new high, but we'll watch out. You know, if it comes up here and closes above 72,250, that would be the first candle that closed above that white line since way back here on all time high. So that's what I'm watching for. I'm watching these white lines like a hawk. If Bitcoin comes up here, where, where do I have that? Uh, 72, actually, it, it, the white line is 72,029. Pardon me. 72,029. This is Femex, Bitcoin, USDT pairing. These numbers will be a little different, but the macro story remains the same on different exchanges and different pairings. You know, just, just watch out. You know, and if it takes out the second white line at 72,850, then you're probably in business because the next one you're talking about an all time high. But even if, right, even if Bitcoin does, you know, I, I do suspect and it's already pulled back. It's already pulled back a thousand dollars as I'm speaking that wick there. And you know, even if it bounces, you know, it comes back up, say it takes out this white line, takes out this white line and it says coming way up here. And, you know, in the next few days, that's actually the heart line and this big red channel, this dotted line here. Watch out for that being resistance. See that? That dotted, that dotted line in the middle of the big red channel. That's, that's in, in conjunction with the all time high. Uh, you know, it's actually kind of in conjunction with all three of these white lines. So that's going to be real strong resistance. And even if you do see Bitcoin come up here, then, then you know, watch out for watch out for the big, you know, maybe maybe it comes all the way back down. And then we're dealing with a giant double top, right? <laughs> a giant double top. That, and then, you know, the and it crashes all the way back down here to 60,800, right? That's 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 still on the table. Because this is not the post having parabolic pump. I do believe this is just still the mid cycle pump, basically ending. You know, you know, it's about it's still playing out. Um, so that's probably created a lot of confusion on social media. Um, so what what am I what am I saying by that? Is is this this whole thing? This whole thing here is. It's just has been the mid cycle pump that has just went up and to the right a lot longer than past cycles, which is which is bear, which is bullish news. So right, you know, even you know maybe maybe it comes maybe it does go up here from here, right? Maybe that does, but that still this still is the mid cycle pump, right? And to the right is still the having pump. But my point being is this this could still come down. You know, the, don't let anyone tell you that it's not, this can only come to sixty four thousand. You know. Bitcoin will never go below sixty-three thousand. Anyone that says anything like that, either they're just drinking their own medicine. What I don't know what's the analogy I'm looking for there? Getting higher their own products. Yeah, Bitcoin. Bitcoin can come back down here. Of course it can. It could even come back down to fifty-six thousand and double bottom, if not lower, and get back in this channel, right? And it's it's the mid-cycle pump. And here's the here out here. There's the real parabolic having pump way out here to the right. So just keep that in mind. Now maybe Bitcoin never goes below sixty-three thousand dollars again. You know, I, I don't know, but I'm I'm prepared for both. I'm prepared for the pump to eighty-four, and I'm prepared for the crash to fifty-six or lower. And okay, so what if, what if Bitcoin pumped to eighty-four thousand right now? And and I'm I'm in this short position. See this short position now. It's a six thousand dollar position at three point nine x leverage, and I've changed that leverage. That's why the position size is eighteen thousand and not closer to twenty three thousand, because I changed it. That that originally was at a seven seven x short, and so I, I I monkeyed with the numbers there. I changed the leverage, and don't forget about that. If you ever get trapped in a position and, and you're about to get liquidated, don't forget that you can stick more money in there and lower your leverage and it'll jack up your liquidation price or jack it down. And, uh, but okay. So with this trade, I'm in up here, the yellow line is my liquidation price on my short. And so, 
you crazy fool you know oh this this is you know it turns this turns out to be the real breakout right but oh here it goes there it goes it's gone it's and the fibonacci level is uh i don't have it marked on there it's slightly above my liquidation price here and so what would i do what, what would i do if it comes up here oh you moron you're gonna like well first of all if i see it start pumping i'm gonna stuff all my dry powder back into this 7x long so this 7x long and I, and I'll, I will put more money into this as well. This this long will get bigger, and uh, you know I'll stuff everything I came back into the long if if I think that it's pumping. And then all the way up here, you know, if it goes all the way up here, then the net long is in massive profit, right? It's a seven x long. It's going to be in massive profit, and I will add to it, and it'll get bigger and bigger and bigger, and and I'll take profit on that long, right? And by then I'll have up I'll have a wall set up of shorts slightly below my liquidation price, right? I'll have a bunch of little, you know, maybe a hundred different little little short positions ready to start triggering underneath this liquidation price. Plus I'll have the long open that'll be in massive profit. And up around this ballpark, I'll I could sell the long and I can turn around and stick all that money from the long back into the short. Plus I have all these little short positions already protecting the liquidation price. Then I'll be in a big short position, and Bitcoin has just went from from seventy thousand to eighty four thousand, right? And then I stuff all that money in. It's, you know, Bitcoin's already on a massive pump; it's already massively pumped up, right? And then I'll stick all that money back into the short, and I'll be playing. You know, even even if Bitcoin comes back, you know, even if it keeps on going, just keeps on going, keeps on going. Say say it comes all the way up here and tests a hundred thousand. Well. I'm still shorting and I'm still shorting. And this is Bitcoin, folks. And there will be a giant massive correction at some point. And then that short that I've been pumping, in, you know, I'm, I'm shorting at 83, 84,000 and above now, right? So my entry price on the short, which is at 63 now, which I do wish was better. But, you know, I, I did that because I was protecting a long earlier, right? In the same manner I'm talking about now. So, you know, and then that correction comes, and, and the correction comes way down below my entry price. So I'll have the entry price on that short, you know, up, up well over eighty thousand. You know, maybe at nine. And the entry price on the short will be say at ninety thousand, right? And Bitcoin comes up to a hundred thousand, and then dumps down to to seventy eight thousand, right? And that's I take profit on the short, right? And then I open up. It's just how I'm doing it, and you know, I'm just I'm just showing you the worst possible scenario right now. Right? I'm not saying this is what I'm going to do. I'm just showing you the worst possible scenario, right? And then I'll end up taking profit on that short, believe it or not, that's underwater two thousand dollars right now. And uh, you know that's just how this works, right? The long is protecting the short, and the you know, and then when the you know, I'll probably be in a long up here. You know, I won't get totally out of that long, and then my long will be underwater on the correction, and when my short will be in profit. I just want to show you that. Right. It's not very often I show when when three out of four of these sections are big green lights. So I just want to show you that. And this video got too long. And I sure do hope you enjoy my efforts here. I, you know, I don't know what kind of position you're in, but you're watching a little guy. Right. You're watching a little guy taking a run at becoming a millionaire. Right. There's a difference. Right. <laughs> There's a big difference between a millionaire making a million dollars and and a dude that's that's just got a few thousand dollars that's going to try to turn it into a million dollars, right? That that's There's a big difference, and that's what you're watching here. And I am continually adding dry powder to this, right? Like tonight, I'll go out and door dash and make 100 bucks, 200 bucks, and I'm likely I'll probably I'll stick that into this long later tonight or tomorrow morning, right? And uh, so that's one reason why my position, my account is growing. Currently, I'm at $7,640, and Today I took $150 profit, so that was nice. And you know I could take another $108 profit here right now if I wanted to, but uh, you know I'm just going to sit and watch and see what happens. I do believe you know it might come back up if I go down to the five-minute chart. I don't want to make this video longer too long. It has to be, but you know, th this could still pump up to 71. You know it might take around at 72. So I'm I'm keeping half that open and. Uh, I might turn around and stick, you know, over here I have available dry powder. You know, I might stick all that back into the long right now after I make the video, right? 
It just depends. Situation. I'll, I'll get out of here. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.